Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 96. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. Yeah, I made sure when I was looking for a 360 to buy, uh, when it came to like wanting to do YouTube content on the 360, I bought a newer one. How? Cheers, AI. I, 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 I'm out for blood now. Absolute bastard. Yeah, I used to have a 360 Elite, um, which was the second 360 they did. Because they did the first one, which was the arcade, which you could buy and then buy an optional hard drive as an extra. The Elite came with the hard drive, but you had two choices whether you wanted, I believe it was 60 gigabyte or 120 gigabyte. Um, and then the S came out which was the slimmer version. And that, rather than having the hard drive on the top, had an internal hard drive. Uh, and then the 360E came out, which came out at the exact same time as the Xbox One, I believe. I'm gonna sneeze. Yeah. Ow. I don't know why I can't do quiet sneezes. I've never been able to do them. They've always been, like, explosive. Like a bomb's gone off in the back of my nose. Horrendous. Um, yeah. And 360E, which came out the same time the Xbox One came out, or a couple of months beforehand, basically because it had the same design as the original Xbox One. Not the original Xbox One. The Yeah, the original... Xbox One. See, Microsoft, this is what happens when you have a shit naming scheme for all of your consoles. Confuses the fuck out of everyone. You pricks. <laughs> it's such a stupid naming system, especially as the fact that they called it One. And, like, they already had a first Xbox. So you can't say original Xbox One because people get confused. Ah, is it this one or this one? Every time, no matter how you say it. Question is, why are we on the Le Mans circuit in D-class cars? Seems backwards. Do, 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 do. Not bad. Cotto, I got no clue what you sent. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, I see it. No bitches. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Nimp, 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 nimp. Ah, the other day, I kid you not. So, Subfocus had a remix of one of his songs. Um, it was called Last Jungle. The, well, the original song was called Last Jungle, and that came out, I believe, in 2009, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, yeah, it's quite an old song, and there was a remix that got made, and it was released on Spotify. 
uh, and SoundCloud. It was the last... Um, last Jungle Remix. Uh, last Jungle Something Something Remix. Synth Something Remix. And it was the best song I have ever heard from, like, drum and bass ever. It just... It just fucking slapped. It was so good. But it wasn't anywhere on Tidal. At all. Until recently... Another remix came out and they put that song... Into that remixes album. Which made no sense because then... The song kind of just didn't exist. And I obviously stumbled across it after a while. Because I went onto it and was like... It's here! Fucking absolute gas. I'm going to put the song on now, actually. To prove it was well worth the wait. Where's the song? Where's the song, you tit? <laughs> Moron. It's in this one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Synth System Remix, that's it. This is the song. This is the best drum and bass remix I have ever heard. Hands down. <laughs> Such a good song. If you are watching this on... Um, YouTube, just search up Last Jungle Synth System Remix. You'll find it. You will find the song, and it's a banger. What a tune! I love, I love drum and bass. But I, th I think it's because of my love of racing games is why I love drum and bass. Because drum and bass is the perfect song to go... Like, it's the perfect genre to go with racing games. Drum and bass is a 10 out of 10. Fits any racing game. It it's just works. Rock music is like 9 out of 10 when it comes to racing games. Rap music is like 8 out of 10 and everything else is shit. Never use it. But like drum and bass is the peak of music and racing games. Doom on the other hand. <laughs> oh, heavy metal all the way. I fucking love the Doom soundtrack. Id Software still hasn't uh, released a statement about that yet though. Because obviously I've done a playthrough of both Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal. I actually timed them just right that when I was playing through Doom 2016, I was playing through it. Uh, and as soon as Doom 2016 would finish doing daily uploads, Doom Eternal would release and I would have a day one video of Doom Eternal. That, that I timed it perfectly and it was awesome. Um... But yeah, I didn't realise because there was a lot of drama going on behind the scenes for quite a few months surrounding Doom Eternal. Kind of died down. Uh, and then Mick Gordon, about a week ago, just completely like flipped it on its head. Just absolutely shat all over id Software. Um... Oh, no, 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 no. Got away with that one. Um, yeah, and so far, id, id, software, whatever you want to call it, uh, slash Bethesda, slash Zenimax, haven't come out with a statement. Um, I don't assume that they would, because Mick Gordon didn't really have so much of a problem with id, slash 
Bethesda as much as he did with Marty, the bloke who was managing ID, but, you know, it's still something they should post a statement about. You should just leave it under covers and just hope that it will all disappear. <laughs> what I'm gonna do without you Crashing through the wall this is a tune as well. Chain smokers, right? I don't know what's happened to them recently, but their music just isn't up to standard. But 2016 was the year for chain smokers. There's so many good songs they made. Do you remember when Selfie came out though? That was like their first one that sort of went mainstream. Such a weird song. But first, let me take a selfie. Such a strange song. <laughs> the yeet. Cotto there with a the yeet, yeet, yeet. Yeet is the fetus. Don't let me know. Mm -hmm. I'm like, holy shit, this is, this is a long race. I need you right now. Mm -hmm. So don't let me die. Twelve minutes into this race is unreal. I think I'm losing my mind now, yeah. That you'll be here when I need you the most. So don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down. Come on, we got this. Accelerate. Drive. Go forwards. More. Vroom. Meow. Ah, oh, good old Foo Fighters. Let's go. Well, I talked about it. Carried on. <laughs> I'm such a terrible singer, but I don't care. I do what I call happy singing, which is singing where you don't give a shit how you sound. You're just vibing. I've hit the wall many times. Big me to talk about it. <laughs>
I fell into. Alright, not bad. I fell into... I fell into... Alright, there we go. Riverside, motherfucker. 24 grand. Resolve. Alright, here we go. Honestly, I, got, I gotta be honest with you. This Kool Aid shit is nice. It's. 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 It's, it's just strange. I think I'd be more inclined to look at getting something like, um, I don't know, s sneak energy or something like that. Probably do a better job. <laughs> Cheers, Cotto. <laughs> you are banned from chat. You are unable to participate in this channel's chat until a moderator unbans you. I hate to break it to you, but that completely breaks chat on my end. And it doesn't work. So. Get fucked, bitch. No, it doesn't. It doesn't show up right because it doesn't have the icon. So unless you're a gullible bastard, it's not gonna it's not gonna trick you. I want the chicanes back. But actually, I think it's good that we don't have the chicanes with this car, because this car can't turn around corners. Wow! <laughs> I forgot that was there, and I was paying attention to the corner. <laughs> wow! <laughs> <laughs> Anyone want scrambled Mercedes for lunch? <laughs> Yo, what up, Shadow? How are you today? This car's terrible. I hate this car with a passion. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Right, come on, get out of the way. <laughs> Much worse. How are you worse, Sino? You are Speedy Man when it comes to racing games. Speedy Man, Maji. Left knee hurts. My right hamstring hurts. My left wrist hurts. I'm busy. Friend zoned and also broke right now. I joined the club. My back is killing me. My neck hurts. <laughs> and I'm a broke bitch. Yeah, I suppose. We always a lot to get used to. But a, a lot of people have said that Gran Turismo's wheel physics aren't that great. Uh, compared to GT Sport. Um, and compared to a lot of modern day titles, the wheel physics just aren't up to par. Like, sure, if this was 10 years ago, Gran Turismo would probably be amazing, but it's not great. 
a lot of people are saying. So, uh, have a look. Trying some project cars. Uh, trust me, when it when it comes to something like project cars or uh, even a set of Corsa, just drive, have fun, and try and enjoy it. If you try and race when you're not ready to race, especially on wheel, you're just going to stress yourself out. Have fun. Learn how to handle the cars. Drift around. Skid around. Have a blast. Uh, I know one thing that... Especially when it came to me trying to learn how to drift on wheel. I still can't do it. But while I've been learning... Just do it. And vibe. You know. Just like this. Kodo! You've spoiled the fun! Kodo, you're such a spoil sport. <laughs> such a spoil sport. You just waited and... <laughs> seen how long it would have taken him to notice. <laughs> how am I the spoil sport? <laughs> You've ruined the surprise party, alright? You bitch. <laughs> Plot twist. There is no surprise. Only death. How am I a spoil sport? <laughs> I'm not a spoil sport. You spoiled the fun. Buzzkill. I'm just time trialing around Spa and I keep spinning on a perfectly good lap. Spa's a bitch though, so I don't blame you. Try a different track. To be honest, Catalonia is a very good track to drive and learn how to do sim racing. It is terrible for racing. I think it's a terrible racetrack. No. Don't listen to Cardo. He's inexperienced and doesn't know a thing. He's escaped from the local mental hospital, clearly. <laughs> Hasn't got a clue what he's on about. <laughs> he's fucked up on coke. <laughs> Yeah, um, have a look into doing Catalonia, because it's, it's got a good variety, it's obviously got your chicanes, you've got long, fast, sweeping corners, you've got slow, long corners, heavy braking zones, 90 degree corners, there is a variety of stuff to learn around Catalonia, so I'd recommend doing that one that track try and get some time trial laps on that as well what car are you using Xeno because it also depends what car you're using big time <coughs> I'm not doing that again <coughs> there's probably a reason why that i9 is 200 pounds Cardo. It's probably fake, to be honest. More than likely, um, if it's £200 and new, it's probably been delidded. Um, basically, what delidding is, if you don't know, is where they take the top of the CPU off and swap it with a identical but much worse performing CPU. Yeah, Amazon is isn't... Amazon is just eBay. Amazon is the same as eBay, but it's a little more professional. It means that no random user can go on there, but if you know what you're doing to set up business accounts, you can still scam people on Amazon. Same as how they do it on eBay. So... That's the one thing that I do like and don't like about Amazon is the fact that you can find absolutely everything but it's not a, a what's it called uh, is that the GT4 race car or is that because I know they made a Porsche Cayman GT4 that wasn't a race car didn't they 
If that's a normal car, then yeah, you should be... Whip it round. Turn the traction control to, like, one. See if you can get some slides going. What not. Yeah. In all honesty, if you start learning how to slide the car... Um... It really helps with learning how to counter steer and how to avoid spinning as well. Um, I found that helped me a lot. The, the, obviously, you've got a lot of things to learn when it comes to sim racing. You can't just plonk someone's ass in a sim rig and hope that they'll be able to drive. Even if you can drive in real life, you can't race. Yeah. Kodo, you realize you're looking at an 11th gen processor. That's like a three-year-old processor. Plus, as well, if it's got a different uh, socket, you need a new motherboard. Because Intel, I believe, only do it for two generations of CPU. Before they change the socket. Uh, whereas AMD has only just changed the socket after... Three or four generations. So. Uh, I mean, it's an okay price, but it is a... 11th gem rocket lake so it's not really much of an upgrade to what you already have an extra two cores so if you're willing to spend 360 quid to have two extra cores when let's be real you very rarely do anything other than gaming on your PC don't think it's worth you upgrading to that at all for the money especially No worries, Cotto. No worries, man. But yeah, when it when it comes to sim racing, it's obviously a experience. You have to learn. It will take time. But there are certain things that you can do to um, improve in certain areas. And another one, another big one um, in sim racing is if tyres are too cold, they don't grip. But if they're too hot, they also don't grip. Um, and the one thing is, if you slide in a corner, simulators like Gran Turismo and iRacing and stuff like that, one slide can end up being many, many slides. Because if your tyres have heated up even a slight bit over where it starts to lose grip, that can be taken into the next corner and you'll have reduced grip for the next corner and the corner after that, unless you don't. So tyre management is quite important. I don't think Gran Turismo is that bad though when it comes to, um, what's it called? Tyre temperatures. Yeah, so if, if you're playing a set of Corsa, that one definitely tie temperatures matter. Um, if those rears do start overheating, and it's very easy to go around a corner and the rears just don't go with the car as much. You could go around a corner normally, it doesn't even tire squeal that much, but you've still overheated your tires. It is so easy to do. Um, that's why I'm not very good at racing when it comes to like because again under pressure I fucking crack and all that and it just goes terribly but I enjoy just whipping a car around a track and just having fun with it so even though I don't do sim racing I I'm doing like quotations even though I don't do sim racing I enjoy driving in a simulator racing a car at its top speed and just having a blast you know I'm not into the competitive side of it. All right, here we go. Vroom, vroom, vroom. V6 compressor. Oh, this is V6, it's not V8. 
That sucks, dick. Next up, I believe, is the mini races. Mini John Cooper works. Nasty, nasty. Triple X rated. Triple X rated. Nasty, nasty. Gutted to waste it. People in the room. So I got to do four videos today, four videos tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Four videos today, four videos on Friday. Once I'm done with that and I've edited them, I can actually start recording on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Same as I've done it, four videos. But I actually can like not bother editing them until Sunday and do all my editing in one day. Edit, upload and render. I ain't no tourist. I ain't no tourist. Do 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 do. Deep down, 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 so nasty. smell food being cooked downstairs and it's actually making me kind of peckish. We your food. We your food, lads. The night is young. Now can I be your plus? Be your plus one. Mm 
Nice. Alright, this is actually our fastest lap so far. Oh, but this is an invalidated lap time, so it won't count. That was a terrible corner. I can be your plus one. Right, go, go, go. Alright. This is a good tune. I love this. Good old Martin Solvieg. I need to look at putting more load on... Probably my graphics card more when it comes to recording the stuff. Very much enjoying the challenge of trying to wrestle this car around the corners. Because it is wrestling, literally. You're fighting the car at every single corner to try and get around. Twenty-two seconds ahead. This thing is so powerful; they get destroys on straights, and especially like this track has that long straight here. But like, its handling ability is that I, I'm convinced that this car was designed by American car designers because it has the exact recipes that a muscle car has. Absolutely zero handling whatsoever, but power non stop. It's ridiculous. Yes, the compressor. It's about with a K. So, blue jeans, gonna save the world. He's gonna, are you hoping for a miracle? 
All right, we got two more laps to go. Same mistakes will never be different. I can drive decently fast quite well, but as soon as I start to try and go anywhere near my controller, lap times, I just lose it, which makes sense. Yeah, because, again, without sounding like an ass, you are nowhere near good enough to beat your controller times. It's the same with me and WRC, to be honest. Like, my controller times are really good, but my wheel times are terrible. Except generations. For some reason, I can't get the um, controller. Right, so I'm actually faster on wheel than controller for generations, but that's besides the point. The other WRC games, I'm so much better on controller than wheel. Don't know why. Can't work out why. But I have so much more fun driving on wheel over controller. I would take wheel and have the slower times any day. Than have faster times and use controller. Because I just enjoy driving with a wheel. So. It is difficult, definitely. Especially if you've never driven a car before. Or anything. It can be an adjustment. But it can also be done. Quite easily, actually, after a bit of time. <laughs> to be fair, I do have a habit of not breathing during intense, like, sections of a track. And then I end up just sort of... Because <gasps> I'm like... I've held my breath for so long, it's unreal. Yeah, it is a world more fun. I think it's more because it feels more realistic and it feels like you actually have control of the car. Um, kind of leads me on to another point I want to make, but I'm not going to start it now because... I think we got... Oh, no, we haven't got another race. I'll start it now, then. Uh, VR. Dirt Rally 2.0 is the best experience ever because you're so immersed in it and as much as it is a difficult game absolutely fucking love it yeah so stupid horsepower is good when it comes to learning how to do like sim racing because you lose control of the car but you always whenever you start losing control you always try to work out how to gain that control back and after a while you will be able to and that helps with like um when you start spinning out how to correct it. Even professionals will never be able to do it every single time, but it's good to practice. Definitely. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.